thylacons have become increasingly popular these days and they are full of possessive or obsessive characters. While these characters can shape up our hearts, it's never truly fun to watch a drama if the lovely leading lady is undervalued. Instead of constantly waiting for the male lead to wake up and apologize for his bad behavior and understand that he needs to be better for the girl he loves, here's a look at 15 possessive obsessive romance in Thai dramas. Number 1. F4 Thailand Boys Over Flowers Gorya is a low-class girl accepted into a prestigious university attended by the wealthy. The school is ruled by an elite cliché known as the F4, consisting of four rich, handsome and spoiled boys. Gorya is the only one that stands up to the bullying ways, leaving all the boys in awe, especially Thayn, the group's leader. Almost instantly smitten by Gorya, Time romantically pursues her, but she has no interest in him because of first impressions. She then falls for his best friend Ren, but Ren is in love with his childhood love. In all the chaos of school, Gorya can't help but find herself falling for Time because of his generosity to her and her family and his change of character. The series is much different from all the other versions. You will feel that you are watching a whole new series even though it's a remake. It talks and takes bullying and other problems more seriously. The actors seem to be cast perfectly for their roles. Bright, played by Time, is scary and Ren is gentle but reserved. Actress Korea is incredibly talented and can portray her character well. Number 2. Game Rai Game Rock Tai Chon is an islander living on Min Island. One day, Destiny leads him to find Falada, a 17-year-old girl lying unconscious on the bench. When she wakes up, he realizes that she lost all her memories. Taishan takes care of her and names her Nangfa, the angel. They fall in love with each other and live together. One day, Chompu Pray, Falada's sister, saw her sister's picture in the tourist magazine, so she sends people to take Falada back. Falada gets treatment until she regains her memories, but she loses her memories about Taishan and everything during the time that she is missing. Chompu Prey lies to her sister and doesn't tell her anything about Min Island. When Sai Chon awakens, he is devastated to learn that his Nang Fa is gone. He decides to go back to Bangkok to look for her only to find that Falada doesn't remember him at all. Nadej and Yaya work so well together. It has got all the drama cliches, but it's worth to watch. This Lacan has the same creators as Clue and Chivit and Savan Biang. So, I greatly recommend it if you are a fan of Slapkiss romance drama. Number 3. Wong Vien Hua Jai Bao returns to Thailand after she learns that her boyfriend Wong has cheated on her and has impregnated with the knee, who he is now going to marry. Lost in the pain of heartbreak and deceit, Bao decides to go to a club alone and drink her pain away. Then, she somehow ends up in a bad situation, almost being drugged and compromised by a criminal. She is, however, saved by Toss, who manages to take her to a private room safely. The protective older brother tells Bao's father that he has slept with his daughter, which makes the older man marry Bao off to Toss in order to protect his daughter's virtue. Thus begins a very push and pull love story of Bao and Toss. It was a typical Thai drama involving slap and kiss, revenge, obsession, and romance. Number 4. My Forever Sunshine The story about Pain, a girl with a tragic life. After losing her father, she has to go live at Arpit's house. The only way for her to be able to stay at his house is to be with him. But no one expected that her approaching Arpit nearly cost him his life. He ends up hating her to the bones and she's exiled far from home for four years until the day they come across each other again. One might think that time will lessen hate, but not for Arthit. Not only he still hates her, but he also hates her even more than before. But in order to keep her final promise to Arthit's father, she must endure it. Mark Prin is one of the reasons I watch this drama. Only he can pull off this, being a jerk and having a soft side for the main girl. My Forever Sunshine is truly for the young at heart. 
love that makes one feel giddy, giggly and warm all over. Overall a good drama, a good love story, good background songs and all the characters acting was also good. Number 5, Naka Q. Natida and Luka Q, two very different women, got involved with each other because of a car accident. Rachavadi, Luka Q's mother, had Dr. Goson do plastic surgery on Dada to make her look like Luka Q. Dada wakes up with a new face, but she has amnesia and also finds out that she has a fiance, Rath, who is angry that the real Luka Q had cheated on him. Meanwhile, there are people trying to find out the truth. This is such an addicting masterpiece that you can't stop watching. This drama hits all the good parts. Overall, this show has a good solid beginning and the ending was really nice where everyone gets what they deserve. Number 6, Loy Rey Sane Rai. Kong Pok's dad and Nam Doing's dad used to be good friends. They even invested their own money in the pub business together. This business went too well and Kong Pok's dad betrayed his own friend and stole the whole business for himself. 20 years go by and Kong Pop's dad knew that he would die soon and because of his guilt from 20 years ago he gave Nam Mueng a large amount of money when his dad died Kong Pop came back from the US for the funeral and found out about the will of his dad he became very angry and wanted to get back at Nam Mueng he makes her fall in love with him so that she will sign over all of the money to him After she finds out Nam Nuing wants nothing to do with Kong Po, too bad he just realized that he was in love with her. This lakon comes with all the screaming, irritating characters and an innocent and naive female lead, forced romance and skin shape. Watch it if you like characters hating each other to falling in love. Also, Push Putichai did good as a rude, angry man character. As this was a cliché lacon character, his expressions were good with overpowering and controlling behavior. Number 7, Rahut Risaya. The heiress of a billionaire loses everything. Her parents were murdered. Both their company and property were taken by her aunt and cousin. What can she do but seek revenge? She starts by blackmailing Siva Ratanari, the guy her cousin is in love with, about his father's indiscretions and evil deeds. Over time they fall in love. She starts to value his love as she learns to forgive. But will these changes be too late? Number 8, You Prince the Handsome Cowboy. Siddhartha is a bad boy, a charming cowboy from the faculty of agriculture. His prakam's first love and she is his. But she has become a down-to-earth girl who dislikes narcissists and arrogant people. When they meet again, they start off on the wrong foot. He takes her cold demeanor as a challenge and tries to win her over. But can old habits be changed? Does this playboy even have the emotional depth to truly love? Number 9, Ryan Pratanha. Thai is a spoiled rich girl and very demanding to Pitya who works at her father's company. He also happens to be an adopted son. Therefore, lowly status in Thai's eyes and worthy of bullying. She feels she can tell him to do anything and he must obey. Pit gives in to her out of respect for his adopted father, but he would much rather dance attendance to Ravi, his girlfriend. Because of his girlfriend, Pitya rejects the offer of marriage from Thai's father. Thai can't believe he refused her and plans her revenge. She tries to break up Pit's romance by pretending she and Pit have a closer relationship. Number ten, occupied heart. Ratawan is a young, very beautiful heiress who lost her brother after a strange tragic accident. After her marriage to the man she loves, some strange men kidnapped her and took her to an island to try and rape her. However, Nabun, the owner of the island and the businessman saves her. They didn't get along at first, but eventually they did and fell in love with another. Ratawan also finds out that her husband was the one who hired those strange men to get rid of her so she can take over the company and the assets. What happens when Ratawan comes face to face with her husband back in Bangkok who she believes tried to kill her? How will Ratawan and Nabun's relationship be when she is still married to her husband and Nabun's ex-wife also enters the picture? Number 11, Tame Chua Kyun. The moment she opened her eyes, she noticed her body without clothes on, and there was a man sleeping on his stomach next to her. The whole world seemed to collapse in front of her. 
John Fanza, a beautiful woman who was drunk until she lost her mind for just one night, had to become a single mother inevitably. She decided to raise her child alone, never thought to demand anything from that overnight husband of hers. However, this is called faith when the man who is the father of a child has come to involve her life once again. Number 12 from Pesawat Lapol, who grew up in Korea his whole life, but chose to escape to Thailand, sees his new stepmother as just another gold digger after his dad's wealth. With hatred for his stepmother, Lapol decided to go to Thailand to find his mother. Pantawan, a sexy singer who is popular among the men there, he views her in the same light as the other woman he has come across in his life. However, Pantawan is not that type of woman and doesn't take insult from anyone, especially from a misogynist man like him. The two always get in a fight, but eventually they came an understanding and fell in love. Number 13, La Ong Dao. The story revolves around Korakat falling for La Ong Dao, his adoptive sister, while hating her at first sight for inheriting the part of his father's asset, which he can only get back under the condition that he marries her. Number 14, Long Ngao Jun. Pim's half-sister, Kim Jira, goes out with the guys while pretending to be Pim. After getting dumped by Kim Jira, one of the guys dies in a car crash. His friend Tanaki accuses Pim of being the cause and vows to get revenge on her and gets engaged to Kim Jira so he can get closer to Pim in order to make her life miserable. Pim, on the other hand, has no clue why she is being stalked or bullied by this psychopath. Number 15. Barbara Ta Le Fan Mind is trying to find a way to escape with her little sister from her stepmother who wants to sell her to provide sexual services to paying her gambling debt. Fugitives find shelter in the resort. There, Mind meets Satra, the resort owner, and falls in love with him. Satra is also interested but was shocked when he found out that her father is the person responsible for his family's tragedy. When Mind thinks that she is able to find the love of her dream, everything is destroyed because of vengeance. Will it be very easy for him to betray her trust? What will happen between them? How will this revenge end? Which of these thylacons did you find interesting? Please let us know in the comments down below. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.